Hello, my name is Dr. Astrid Arlev. I work for the company I&L Biosystems in Königswinter in Germany as a product specialist and I'm presenting to you this automatic sampling system, the SecFlow model by Flownamics from the USA. The purpose of the system is to take samples from a fermenter during the fermentation process and forwarding them to the sampler. It consists of several components, connections directly on the fermenter, the main unit right here, and the respective analysis systems, or in this case the sampling station. Sampling starts with the fermenter. Since the fermenter is sterile, the sampling also needs to be sterile. To achieve this, Flonemics has come up with several points. Here we go. The tubing set through which the sample is drawn is already pre-sterilized or is autoclaved with the fermenter. It's connected to a dip tube, in this case a lure lock, but there are other options. When the sampling is drawn, it runs through these blue check valves, so in case any pressure conditions are not correct, the liquid is never pushed back to the fermenter. That means it's always only one direction away from the fermenter. Here we have a clamp valve on this small module located near the fermenter to close the dip tube. This part is the dead volume in the whole sampling. The sample is led through two sensors here at the side which measure whether it contains liquid or air. The measurement is then carried out through the tube contactless by the ultrasonic measurement. The sensors are installed on various locations in the system and help to optimize the flow. The sample then flows over 3 or 7 meters distance through the tube here towards the main unit, the SecFlow S3. Here we have this fluidic line which we have connected to the first fermenter and via the lure lock connection. Here we have another clamping valve via this tube here to this sensor and is recognized. It continues to run to this peristaltic pump and then further on to the sampler. This is the peristaltic pump. It is an important central element because it builds up the suction through which the liquid is transported. It can run faster or slower and it has six rollers, which means always three rolls on the tube, ensuring a uniform flow in the system. The software in the SecFlow is very user intuitive. What is shown here can also be seen on the screen the sample tube, the sensor, the pump and shown the sampler. The software is designed to ensure an optimal sampling procedure. The sample that runs out of the sec flow goes to the flow fraction 400 collection station. It comes out of here and flows via this tube to the sensor. There it is recognized that the liquid has arrived. The sample needle moves over a free sampling vial such as the centrifuge tube, pierces through the septum and then fills as much as has been previously set in the software. The needle then moves back to its home position and lets the sample drain into the waste bottle via the drainage pipe and this tube. The flow fraction sample collector has storage space for up to two racks. Here we see a rack with a storage space for 30 spaces for these 50 ml centrifuge tubes. The racks are cooled from below using this cooling plate. This version is using water cooling. Alternatively, there is a version with a Peltier cooling. As sampling vials for the flow fraction can serve, for example, 96 well plates, cruyo tubes, glass tubes or centrifuge tubes up to 50 ml. Here we have the 15 ml version, as you can see, with a lid 
and a septum that seals the vial. The last step in sampling is the cleaning process. The entire course from the fermenter to the collection station must be cleaned. As this is done with these bottles, which are located directly on the sack flow, for example water, detergent and disinfection solution, which are connected here and which then flow one after the other through the entire course making a U-turn over the sample tube back, going over this tube from the flow fraction, the needle, then via the waste tube to the waste bottle. I will now present you a few more functions of the software. Here you can determine which vessels are to be sampled. For example, vessel 1 and vessel 2. You can enter how much of the sample you want to be filled, how large the forerun should be, and you can set in which frequency the sample should be taken. For example, every three hours or at zero, always consecutively one after another. The timestamps in the status menu present you in a chronological order exactly which steps the system is currently performing and has completed. If you have an analysis system connected to the SACFLOW, you will be able to see which measurement results the system has sent to the SACFLOW in the data menu. In the settings menu, you can, for example, assign a batch ID or a vessel ID. You can also adjust various settings to optimize the entire sampling process. For example, which tube length you have, whether it is 7 or 3 meters long and so on. In the flow fraction menu, you can select how much sample is to be filled, which rack is used and finally, after the sampling has been completed, you can see here at which positions fillings have been made by the system. In this menu, we would start a trial run and stop it again. In the scheduler menu, we can set the date and time the sampling should start and stop again. Finally, let's start a sampling and look at how this red colored liquid will be filled here at some point. Have fun!
Ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this video and if you are interested in the SecFlow S3 system, if you have any further questions, if you want to test it, please contact me. You can find my contact details with phone number and email address on il-biosystems.com. Thank you for your time and your interest.